Welcome to the Adam Rothstein Hockey Podcast. This is your podcast for all things hockey. On this podcast, we talk about past history to the modern day and what you can do to grow the sport. I am your host, Adam Rothstein. All right, let's get to the show. Welcome back. This is episode 30 of the Adam Rothstein Hockey Podcast. So uh, today we will be talking about stick handling. But first, I have to pat myself on the back here. The New Jersey Devils won 5-3 to three against the New York Rangers. So your boy made a correct prediction. So score one in the win column there. All right, let's get into stick handling. So there is no reason why any of you can't be a good stick handler in, in the same way that there's no reason why any of you can't uh, be a good dribbler in basketball. I mean, you, you can be a good dribbler too, but of course there's takeaways and turnovers and all that uh, when it comes to basketball. And the same thing applies to hockey. Now, now to avoid this, we need to work on our stick handling, but we don't always have access to ice. We don't have necessarily a synthetic rink and, and the street is very hard to put the, it, it, it can be very difficult in the road and there's a, a lot of bumps and it's not always a flat surface if you're playing street hockey. So, um, so definitely here's what I recommend first, pick up a Milik stick with uh, some hockey balls. You can go to total hockey. You can order them online. Basically where, wherever you can find uh, that, um, yeah, make sure or or actually you can still get a wooden stick and um and uh like a rubber puck as well. That also works um as well. When it comes to uh stick handling. Now I now I found working with the uh Milik balls, the orange balls, the hockey balls, uh those work better. Uh, with if you're going to be stick handling on a carpet in your basement, that is something you're going to want to work with. The now, if you do have a flat surface, um, or if you have uh, at least you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily do this on the hard floor, uh, but if you have a flat surface, you can use a street puck, or or better yet, if you have access to a gymnasium, yeah. Use a street puck and stick handle there. If you like go to the YMCA or something, you know, you can certainly work on that uh, as well. Now, now there are definitely days where I don't have access to the ice and I do stick handle. Um, so here's what I do is that I take a ball and I stick handle in a box. So, so if I could just show you this um okay so yeah so i would like stick handle in a box it would come it would come behind me and then i'd push it there i'd get it here move it there or like sort and um and i just and i would uh move it around my entire body i'd open up i'd go wide i uh i uh do it narrow flip and flop there if you uh, are watching this in video so and uh and i work on that too um you can uh pylons pylons are going to be uh one of your best friends uh if you don't actually have pylons but you have like some dumbbells work on stick handling in like a figure eight um on the right uh side of the dumbbell like you, uh, you can approach it and, and every time that comes through, uh, from the right side, um, then you transition to your backhand, then 
Then you go to your forehand, backhand, and you just like really get used to opening up your wrists and hands and, and it just flows well. And it will translate on the ice, certainly with the hockey balls when you're doing this on carpet. That is what I did uh, back when I was training in college. Uh, was that oh, there we go uh so there's that now if you do uh now when you do get back out on the ice or um and you do have those sticking pucks um after you stretch before you uh, start skating you know feel free to or actually no stretch warm up skate grab your puck then then just start stick handling and just like get used to it um yeah and just start off slow go in a circle and and just warm up your body and then and then just uh and then uh, go back to skating for a little bit and then i would say uh just work on stick handling for a little bit when when you get exhausted um, and your legs are, and you're like breathing heavy, you just take a moment, breathe, and then just go stick handle for a little bit. Then, then continue on skating and shooting. Uh, so that's what I typically do when it comes to stick and pucks and, uh, free time skating as well. Uh, now, now with stick handling, there's many things you can do. Um, I've never been able to pull off a Michigan at all uh so that just not i mean i've gotten it on my stick before a few times but i you, you know you don't have to do anything fancy i mean i mean i mean let's who do i take ray bork was not fancy he was not a fancy shooter or really even that fancy of a stick handler yes he hit he basically shot a 190 foot shot from his own zone and uh, and the goalie had no way of really stopping it, too. But but that's not fancy. I'm not talking like Michigan or even someone like Pavel Datsu. You don't have to be that. You know, you have to stick handle and be able to uh, make sure that that you score goals and that your team is able to score and you're able to. Con- control the puck it's um you don't have to overthink it now now take someone like datsuk is it is what he does to get the puck and control it and just you know and deke and all that yeah it's good it's fine now when you're on the ice and you're stick handling it you don't always have to be juggling it and in fact, when you're skating forward, you know, you cross over to Deke. Uh, remember that. You cross over to Deke, but you don't necessarily have to handle it. In fact, sometimes that slows you down. So what you can do is keep it on your forehand when you're skating ahead, and then you're going to cross – you can cross over three times when – and then you can switch and cross again, depending on on who's coming, and 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 it can get tricky. It can get ch- tricky, um, but your job is to avoid getting checked or poke checked, and you need to handle that puck, and you need to make sure that everyone is where they need to be, and uh, and that's something else. Um, so when I talk about the figure eights, when I went with the pylons and just like moving it on your forehand and then your backhand, you are controlling your stick, your stick and, and you're not, and you're not, um, losing it, you know, in the process. Cause if I were to do anything in like a figure eight motion that we talked about earlier on your forehand. Coming in to the pylon, you push it through, you get on your, it comes to your back and then you move it around and then it goes back on your forehand, comes up and then, and then back and then back and then back. 
And uh, this is why you should watch the video of me. And uh, when it comes to to that, you're not going to mishandle. You're, you're actually less likely to mishandle the puck in that situation. Uh, but being able to poke check is then it, because it, all right, when you do, um, you know, stick handle. Yeah, you, yeah, you will. It's more, it's still more likely that a poke check could take it away. Now, are there times when you get in on goal and you need to, um, move it with your forehand and your backhand? Absolutely. But when you're free and when you're skating towards the net, you know, 80% of the time, at least you're going to be, you know, a defender is going to be on you. You do not want, you know, them colliding with you and you want to have complete control of the puck, which is why you don't always just keeping it on your forehand sometimes or your backhand, depending on how you're approaching is enough. And which is why I don't recommend, you know, you, you always get fancy on it and, and it's not fanciness or, or even, um, talent that works, you know, that, beats a team it's you know it's hard work it's dedication and it's knowing your systems and in the whole nine yards um we now stick handling is and stick handling with can be done essentially anywhere with a flat surface and uh and a ball or a puck and, and of course even just a street stick you can do it uh, anywhere now uh now let's say uh, now if you really want to get good at it with stick handling get a golf ball or get get a set of golf balls and like work on that uh because and like you can really work it there and and sometimes you will have to like stick handle in certain situations like i talked about earlier so even getting in close to your body and like just being comfortable with uncomfortable situations when you're stick handling um if i stick handle it if i stick handle it close to my feet it's going to be it's going to be a bit more difficult to work with it now you take someone like alex ovechkin who probably is stick handled in a telephone booth at one point it's going to be hard it's going to be much harder to you know, it's much, e it's going to be a bit difficult in those situations when you first get into it. But if you keep it close to your body, you know, you're more, you know, if you can keep it close to your body, you can, you can get away from defenders. Now, sometimes, now let's talk about the deeps. Going in on goal, there's a million things you can do. When it comes to going in on goal, you can you can tap the puck to your skate, and then you can push it back, and then you can deke and do all that. Um, which is why I also recommend that you uh, take up some soccer. You you work on also you getting your feet involved and like just you know kicking it to your stick or like or like just blocking it off. And and in beer league, it translates because then I'm able to control the puck and then just go down and score all the time because, you know, those that are trying to get it through your feet are like, they're going to be blocked off. And it's like, Oh, why did he do that? And, and uh, that's incredible too. So definitely work on getting your feet good, whether you're on the ice or whether you're off the ice, get used to kicking that puck to your stick, get used and uh, take up some soccer as well just get that hand-eye coordination in there and uh yeah uh and uh whenever you get a chance uh definitely take some time and stick handle it you you definitely can find 11 or 20 minutes in a day for for those of you that are listening in, unless you have uh kids or something I mean, well, even if you have kids, you can definitely find some time to stick handle 11 minutes a day. 
and uh and like you know put your baby in the corner and just find some time to stick handle doesn't need to be anything fancy you just want to keep your skills fresh and skills up to date and and it can be hard i went nearly a year without uh stick handling and or like i went months actually without stick handling and uh and uh believe me it it shows at times it's it's like getting into shape it's like just generally working out so you need to always be stick handling and finding some time in your day you want to be able to get around defenders and you want to be able to defend when if you're a defender it, if you play defense if you're a defenseman you want to be able to work it and uh, just be able to control the flow of the game. Well, all of you do. So definitely take some time to stick handle, and uh, and you should be on your way, too. Um, and remember. Oh, and remember, uh, you'll see this here. So hmm, let me get this there. All right, if you can uh, see it here, like, you know, four thumb down, front thumb, right here, front thumb, if you can see it, uh, and then down, point that down, and then just work on controlling the flow. Work on this. Work on, go to forehand, backhand, just work on pushing it and when it comes to the other side, cradle it, cradle the blade of your stick like it's an egg. You don't want to break it. You want to just let it flow into it. You want to let the puck flow in and, uh, and then you're good. And then, and, uh, and from there you can uh, work on, you know, like, you know, moving it around as well so so once you got that down you can go wider and then you can stick handle in a box which is what i recommend okay that went um longer than i thought it would um all right so updates i will get this out um yeah this episode should come out by noon if you're listening to this um or watching this hopefully you're watching this uh, and I'm going to try and get Brandon Potter on the show. Uh, we're going to schedule some time. So hopefully he should be on within the next three episodes. So uh, I'm going to give myself some leeway there. Um, okay. Please be sure to subscribe to my sub stack. Uh, you can go $5 a month or you can sign up for free. Uh, I still recommend you sign up for $5 because you get the bonus episodes and in the uh, paid articles as well. So uh, please be sure to do that when you get the chance. Also, please be sure to share the show, rate this five stars on Spotify and Apple, um, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right. And, uh, so, and please be sure to share this out, text, email friend, share this wherever you can. And, and if you do all that, I will see you all in the next episode of the Adam Rothstein Hockey Podcast. Take care.